Welcome to another quick tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to create some very realistic looking water uh, for your pool or lake or ocean. Um, and the best way to do this is using a plugin that is actually free. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to do that. And we're looking at creating an end result sort of similar to this um, with some nice um, <clears throat> interaction of light reflection and some waves um, and also being able to animate this water to create animation. So uh, we're going to start from the top. I'm just going to create a new comp here, or a new project and let's get our lines back up there, our grid back for right now. So the first thing I need to do is go to uh, this website here called Valkari.com and Hot4D is the is just a deformer that's gonna uh, easily create these waves for you. And so rather than spending time on doing it yourself, you may as well use a free plugin. Um, we're not gonna really show you how to install it and all that, but <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I can walk you through that. Um, so once you've got it installed. Under your plugins, you're going to see the Hot4D um, plugin right there. So we're going to just jump right into how, to, how do we use this thing. So first things first, we're going to create a plane. And for all intents and purposes right now, we're going to change it to 500 by 500. And then we're going to up the segments by about 10 times what they're at so that we are seeing a... Uh, Actually, I'm going to turn the um, grid filter off, but um, this way we're seeing we have a lot of segments in our plane, and that's going to help us make very realistic looking water very quickly. So I'm just going to kind of get a flat view here, something like that. I'll leave the grid on for now. And now we're ready to just jump into Hot 4D and drag that under our plane. And it's already created this deformation um, of our plane that looks pretty water-like, but we've got to do some adjustments. Um, so jumping down here into the object, we're going to first just up the resolution, and that immediately adds a lot more features to our plane uh, water. Um, we're going to up the ocean size by just a little bit more. So we'll go to like 550 area, something like that. Um, we'll just bump the wind speed up a little bit and leave the direction as it is. I'm going to bring the wave height down just a little bit. Um, and I'll put the choppiness a little bit higher, up to one. And then we will uh, increase our ocean depth by a factor of 10. <clears throat> so now we've got something that um, if I just toss a light in here, you know, we've got a surface that looks very much like water. Obviously, we don't have a material. We don't have it lit the right way. And the biggest thing is we don't have an animation yet. So we've got nothing playing here. Um, so I'm just going to up my frames to 150. And I'm going to show you how to animate this. So under Hot 4D, at time, we're going to just keyframe at zero and then we're going to go to our 150th frame and we're going to just put this up to about eh, somewhere between 15 and 20 is usually going to give you the most realistic looking water um, and then I'm going to keyframe it again and so you'll notice you know once this thing ramps up I've got some pretty realistic looking waves but right now our keyframe interpolation is creating this spline so it's creating like a wave in our in our keyframes and we want to get rid of that we want to just go linear and then we're going to click on the last frame we're going to go linear and now we're going to get this constant liquid motion that looks very starts, starts to look really really good so we're done with the animation part um, the next step is creating a material that we can apply to our water um, so if I'm, I'm working on Senmo 4R18, 
if you go to load material presets, I really like the way that the, um, let's see, uh, under, I believe it's, let's see, broadcast, liquid, then you've got a couple of different really nice um, options, and this water turbulent is a very nice um, material to use for an ocean. Um, so again, if you just preview it, you're going to get a little bit of an idea, but you're not really getting um, a good idea of what this looks like. Because the next thing we have to do is we have to add some sort of a sky. Um, so one option is we could just add a physical sky right away. And we're already getting a very nice kind of a lake or open ocean look. You know, we've got this kind of like this little cloudiness to it. You can see the deep, rich blues here under in, in, in the shadows of the light. Um, and that, that looks pretty good. Um, and, and then once you have the physical sky dropped in there, you can add a, open up a preset. If you want to make this look more blue, what's really going to drive that is going to be uh, what kind of a cloud formation you have. So if I go with a really blue cloud formation, I guess not formation, but just a blue sky, I'm going to get a blue sky. And so that's, that's what you want to think of when you're, when you're messing with your hot 40 ocean is, you know, don't let your material be yeah. what determines the um, color of the ocean, much like our real ocean. Um, you know, if you're flying over an airplane, what determines the color of the ocean is always going to be the sky. So, you know, you think, oh, the, the ocean looks so much more ominous, you know, and darker when there's a hurricane. Well, that's just because the sky is darker, um, which is obviously common sense, but something to keep in mind when you're animating here. So if you don't like the look of your ocean, just change the sky and you will get a different result if you're using the right material. So I'm going to go with this. Obviously, um, one thing you might have to adjust, you see that I've got all this yellow here, is um, I might need to adjust my horizon. And I'm going to just drop it down even lower to there. So I'm at minus 9. Let's just make it an even number, minus 10%. And now I should be getting a real nice realistic looking result um, in my water and yeah so I've got some clouds there it ain't perfect but it's looking kind of cool and then the last thing I can do here is I can create a camera and I'm just gonna set myself down somewhere here oops yeah, let's put our camera. Okay, there we go. So now we've got the panning action across the ocean surface there. I could use a spline and align it to that. That would have been easier. And then align the object in there. But we'll work on that in the next um, tutorial. So I'm just going to output this. Um, and I'll speed this up and just kind of show you what it looks like when, uh, when it's done. All right, that took a little longer than I expected it would, but um, we've got ourselves uh, cut off a little bit on the side there, unfortunately, but a pretty realistic looking ocean scene here as I kind of cruise across the top of the surface. And if you add something in, like an ocean sound effect, you got yourself a pretty realistic ocean scene. So thanks a lot for watching this quick tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something about how to make some cool water in Cinema 4D. Um, and make sure you download that Hot 4D plugin. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. And please subscribe.